Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, dear viewers, welcome back to the second segment of today's episode, the 15th episode, and we are doing SPAG of English, which is um, suitable for key stage two till GCSEs, and alhamdulillah, we have got uh, someone who has addressed um, uh, four of the ten words correctly spelt, and the reason has been awarded eight marks. Out of 20 marks, as she has addressed eight, four questions, four spellings correctly, she has been awarded eight marks. So there are 20 marks total for 10 questions. It carries, each carries two marks. So we would like to uh, ask our brothers to display the question once again for the children for the last time. Uh, this one, uh, slide five, if they could display slide five. Slide five, yeah. Just you can see, just to have a look, last look. If you fail to answer, no problem. I would still accept the rest of the quest uh, questions, the rest of the words. If you can address those correctly, I will accept them, inshallah. So I'm trying to be a bit generous for you, so they can be awarded and you can be uh, rewarded. Uh, we can send you something uh, very soon, inshallah. On this segment, we will learn now punctuation okay punctuation and we will cover very easy and basic bits of punctuation which are full stop and commas full stop you must put a full stop at the end of a sentence for example all students were present at the show if you see slide six just a glance of at the slide six, we will be able to see that. The example is all students were present at the show. So this is at the end of a sentence you must put. The next slide, punctuation, full stop and comma we are learning. You must put, you must put a comma when you pause in the sentences. Therefore, commas should be used firstly before a relative pronoun, before, before a relative pronoun, i.e. who, which, where and when. Example, I know the boy who was riding a bike in the park. So you can see there's a call. Let's see who's on the line. Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Assalamu Alaikum, it's Rizan again. Hello Rizan, yay. You have some uh, questions to be answered, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I was going to uh, answer... Can, you, can you speak up, Rizan? I was going to answer question number five. Question number, um, I mean, yeah, the spelling number five. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It is B-E-A-U-I... Wait. B-E-A-U-T-I-F-U-L-L-Y. Fantastic. You have been awarded another two marks. Yes, next. Do you have another... Do you have any more no, that words was to the, spell? That was the only one. Huh? That was the, that's the last one. I, so I you, ca you can't know. address any more questions? Wait, let me see. Give it a try, give it a try. Uh, yes, Razan? Um, number... Mm. Wait. Um, number six. Number six, yeah. Um, C H mm -hmm. A R mm -hmm. A C T A R T T T T. Hello, hello. And yeah, I need yeah. to, I need to stop you after T what? After T, mm -hmm. it's A R. A. Yeah. And number six. Yeah, character. You then? A R I S T I C. So, what do you think? Is that correct? Little bit mistake. Should I say it again? Yeah, please. Because you made a little bit of a mistake. C H 
A R A Wait, A Wait, I think I You said A C, I've written it. You said A C T A C T I mean C H A R A C T E R You said what? After T is what? E R. E, you're fantastic. Now it's correct. Thank you. E I've accepted it. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Yeah, you said you've only said other letters. I've accepted them, Rizan, because you have been working very hard with us for the last couple of ap episodes. So, do you have any more words, Rizan? Uh, no. Okay. You can still can thank you very much, Rizan, for the participation. We will go in Shalad Razan, you can see on this bit, on this segment, on punctuation, pardon? You'll, you'll have um, more questions, inshallah. There's another call, we can see. Hello, who is on the line? Assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello. Hello. Who is that calling? Um, Tahmin. What, Tahmin? Can you speak, speak up, Tahmin, please? Okay. Which questions are you answering? Um. Yes. Um, number one. Number one. Yeah, th you can see that you have, you have seen the girl. She has already uh, addressed one, two, three, four, five, six. So you have only four left. You can, if you can do the rest four, I will award you four. Uh, I will, I will award you eight marks. It's a good competition, I can see, mashallah. Okay, you, are, you guys aren't sleeping. You have uh, wo uh, woken up, okay? okay. Yes, Tahmin, go ahead with your answers. Yes, Tahmin? I don't know anymore. What? Did you say any? I haven't heard. I don't know anymore. Okay, Tamin, take your time, no problem. You've called. We appreciate your call. That was a beautiful call. And a boy, Tamin, alhamdulillah, he has come forward to answer this question, which is really something courageous. We must uh, say uh, a big thank you to uh, Tamin and Tamin's family. Inshallah, you will come, come up with, uh, with more uh, answers, inshallah. You must beat uh, Razan and uh, other people who are calling. Inshallah, there should be a big competition. On this uh, segment, we will learn about punctuation and we are learning about commas, where to put commas. The first thing we have just said, that you must put commas before a relative pronoun in a sentence and a relative pronoun is a word for who, which, wh words, for example, who, which, where and when. And I gave an example, I know the boy, comma, who was riding a bike in the park. So who is actually addressing to the boy. That's why this who is a relative pronoun. Okay. And commas should be used in the list. Commas should be used in the list. An example is if you can see slide 7. Brothers, can you display slide 7 please? Yeah. Slide 7 you can see that in the list. My dad bought me a pen, comma, a book, comma, a rubber and a pencil. Look at the tricky bit of this rule. At the last two lists of the sentence, you cannot put comma because it should be ended up with and instead of a comma. So you must keep putting commas on all the stuff of the list, excluding the last one where you must put an and before the two was between uh, the two, two words at the end of the uh, sentence. So commas in the list is another rule. If we see the last rule, the before and after an extra information added to a sentence. When you say, for example, Mr. Berger was with them. Mr. Berger, <laughs> it sounds really, yeah something food here. Mr. Berger was with them. I've made it up actually, so to, I can give you some kind of fun. Mr. Berger was with them. If you think that this is a sentence, 
and if you want to add an extra information to it Mr. Berger a very tall person was with them so Mr. Berger a very tall person was with them so you have added commas before and after a very tall person which phrase is an extra addition to this sentence so when you have added an extra information you must put a comma before and after the before and after uh, the information you have added you have added to okay now the question for you okay you'll get plenty of time i think inshallah, inshallah because this segment will be a bit longer so your question two is on slide eight can you can i ask brothers to display sli display slide eight and if you can keep your hold for a couple of minutes because it's a long it's a bit long and there are 10 mistakes in this paragraph just for putting full stops and commas okay so you can uh, take a picture of it i would suggest you to take a picture of it and do the homework in just a couple of minutes time this is not that difficult and then come back to me with your answer we were on a trip at finsbury park there were 12 people in our team we enjoyed visiting the lake playing football and doing many other activities we also bought some snacks some sweets some fruits and some drinks we returned home at around 7 p.m by bus so i've read in a way that so you don't uh, understand where you must put a full stop and a comma and i've written the uh, words at the beginning of a sentence in small letters so you should be confused this is to give some a kind of challenge to you so that you can do the work in a nicer way so these are the things for punctuation and we have learned so far spellings punctuations and unpunctuations we have just learned only these things let's go to slide 10 on slide 10 we are going to learn what do you we mean by subject verb agreement subject verb agreement like i said at the beginning of the show that where most of these students are struggling and uh, even mature students students at universities they are making a lot of mistakes on this particular bit subject verb agreement because there are something some tricky bits in this uh, rule subject verb agreement okay the first rule is when the subject is singular the verb should also be singular meaning it should use am or is or has and it should add s or es to the end so an example will clarify these things to you the leader of those people was really brave the leader of those people was the word people before was might confuse you there are people as, as the subject is people is no subject actually the subject is the leader and leader the leader the word is is singular so you must put the verb which is was singular it should be was or if it is in present tense it should be is so the leader of those people was really brave not the leader of those people were really brave okay the second rule is when the subject is plural when the subject is plural the verb should also be plural meaning it should use are have or it should you add and then it should add s and yes to the end so you have to remember these things that when a subject is plural the verb should also be plural and it shouldn't use it shouldn't add s or es to the verb so the example can be uh, given uh, the feet of a the feet of a spider were terrifying the feet of a spider were terrifying look at the feet is uh, the subject and it is plural the spider is singular which might confuse you so you cannot say they, the feet of the spider is or was terrifying you have to say 
the feet of the spider were terrifying. Subject verb agreement slide 11. If we go to slide 11, we will see there are more stuff, more things, rules on the subject verb agreement. Okay, what the most common mistake is made on one of the when they start a sentence begins with one of the the phrase one of them and you'll see that most of the people are making mistake on this particular bit on the on this particular rule when you say one of them it means one of the lot so you have to think that one of the meaning one of the lot and one of them when the plural noun is coming you are confused you are saying one of the children are it's not one of the children are it is one of the children is playing truant at the school so if one of the children is playing truant at the school you have to say one of the children is you cannot say one of the children are so obviously they might be confused whether the verb will be in singular form or plural form so remember the verb must be in singular form as the subject here is one for example, one of the boys puts on a red shirt. One of the bananas was rotten. One of the bananas was rotten. Not one of the bananas were rotten. Or not one of the boys put. One of the boys put. Because we know that if it is plural, then we will put, uh, we won't add S. But here you have to add S because the main subject is one of the you have to remember bear in your mind so a sentence begins with the phrase one of the bear in your mind that the verb follows should be in singular okay what are the thing we are confused in doing this it happens actually when a student looks at the noun prior to the verb like I said before I'm repeating it it happens when a student looks at the verb looks at, looks at the noun prior to the verb and in this case which are boys and bananas because they are plural and you might be confused that the verbs should also be plural okay now we can go to question 12 okay in the meantime we, 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 we would like to ask our children so that they can um, prepare with the question uh, for punctuation and I will tell you I can give you an assurance that question and punctuation is really really easy very easy because only you have to put full stops and commas so commas in the list you'll see on the paragraph which was okay if we can see the question again question two please on the punctuation yes I'm finding it okay it is slide 8 you can see slide 8 have a look you mightn't uh, uh, take uh, the photo of it that's why I think you're not coming up with your answers but question 2 on slide 8 is really really easy okay I can help you reading the question once again we were on a trip at Finsbury Park there were 12 people in our team we enjoyed visiting the lake playing football and doing many other activities we also bought some snacks some sweets some fruits and some drinks we returned home at around 7 p.m. by bus so look at the things that where you have to put full stops at the end of a sentence and read through carefully to see 
that it makes sen the senses completed here. So put a full stop there and afterwards start with, I, I wouldn't ask you for capital letters because uh, capital letters also involved here, but capital letters is not my question here. So I won't actually award you or I will uh, take a few marks for a capital letters, don't think like this. So do not uh, think about capital letters, just ignore capital letters. So after that, you will start another sentence, then uh, you will see. Uh, let's see, someone is on the line, someone is calling. Let's see, who is that? Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Um, Assalamu Alaikum. Yes. It's Rizan. Rizan again, mashallah, Rizan. Yeah, which one you are addressing? Um, I was, was going to answer the question number two. Question number two, one sec. Yes, go ahead. Okay. We were on a trip at Finsbury Park. Hello, hello, Razan. Yeah. I can't hear you sometimes. Okay, I'm going to Yes, go ahead. Louder. We were mm -hmm. on a trip at Finsbury Park. Yes. Full stop. Full stop, go. There were 12 people on our team. Mm -hmm. Full stop. Good. We enjoyed visiting the lake, comma, mm -hmm. playing football, and doing many other things. Full stop. We also mm -hmm. bought some snacks, mm -hmm. comma, mm -hmm. some sweets, comma, yes. some fruits, and some drinks. Full stop. Yeah. We returned home, comma, yep. at around 7 p.m., comma, mm -hmm. by bus. Stop. Amazing. Well done. Well done. Razan, you are the student of these, uh, these episodes, I would say. Student, I will, maybe, inshallah, we'll try to <laughs> one day declare a reward for a student of uh, the taste of learning. Maybe you, you, you might be one of them students because I'm so much impressed you have answered this question correctly and you have been awarded 10 points for this particular question so Rizan I'm adding okay um, yes so Dear viewers, we have come to the end of uh, this segment. We have to go to a break. Alhamdulillah, some students have uh, joined uh, with their answers. Alhamdulillah, a uh, little boy, Tahmin, he tried and uh, he has had the courage. He has shown his uh, expertise. We will have to go to a break. We'll be back after the break, inshallah. Stay tuned in. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah.